All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to. Should I say welcome to my balloon series? We're gonna be doing daily uploads of you know me just kind of playing balloons. I should play a lot. You can friend me if you want. Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. Um. All right, so let's get right into it. I think I want to do maybe an expert map today, actually. I've done a lot of these. Mm. I think I want to... We're gonna do this, and then we'll unlock an expert map and try to play it. Alright, so this is mostly water, so I'm gonna go for submarine dirt. It'd also be nice to have a sniper up there. Gives them some good recon. No, I think for this guy we might do probably preemptive strike. This guy I might make a cripple moab, scripto shot obviously. And he'll just be a crossbow master razor sharp. For now let's get this guy set up though. So it seems like as of right now, the Dirt Monkey and the Submarine are obviously the two heavy hitters. And the Dirt Sniper Monkey is almost on cleanup. If a balloon gets through, he'll basically take it. So obviously Christmas happened recently. That was pretty nice. Got the computer. I can finally make videos now. I had to take a break for a few months because my old computer broke. And hopefully my editing quality is better because well I do have a nice computer. Hmm. An achievement I'm getting close to use Insta Monkey, so I'm thinking I'm gonna use a few. How about let's use one we're probably never gonna use? We would only use it for this achievement, at least I would. You need a ton of min maxing for Mother Monkeys, Super Min Maxi. So, so far our strat is going really nice, like in all of our monkey paths. I might start getting this guy towards cripple mobs. Now he's gonna just be more effective overall. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like the mortar monkey too much. I'm more of a mobile player. I have like 100 hours on PC, but I probably have maybe 50 on mobile, but I still play mobile more. Frequently. I wouldn't say longer, obviously, because less playtime, but I play it more, so I never really got like the Wonder Monkey because uh, it's really hard to do on mobile. It's a lot easier on computer. Maybe I'll change my opinion about him now that I'm starting to get more into the game. Not sure what else we could do. I'm thinking maybe 
Maybe a banana farm? I'll even buy a farmer, because I figure we're still making profit because of all the monkey money we get if we do beat the map. And I don't really have much doubts that we're we'll losing. So we might as well just make these top half valuable bananas if we spend a month on farming. <laughs> I'm gonna name these guys. I only I have names for most of them, but a few of them not so much. Now for now, since we have a good defense and offense for the most part. I'm thinking maybe we just go for support for now. We haven't even gotten a single word spike yet. So I think I'm just gonna focus on these banana farms until we start getting some trouble with the later waves. In which case, I'll use my mortar monkey to take them out until I feel like I'm ready to buy some things for my other monkeys. And yeah, we should be able to take out the BFB pretty easy. This is the layer runs I was talking about, I guess. How about... Sure, why not? That's good. Um, my farms are good. Not much I can do besides maybe get an extra one. It doesn't really look like we can fit one, though. What about a bottom path village? These will always get you better stuff, you know? Plus, if we do place this right, we'll be in range of our mortar tower too, so we get better stuff with that. Especially if we do jungle drums. But obviously I'm focusing on the bottom path, and maybe I'll get some jungle drums once I get to tier 4. I don't know how great an investment that was, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, let's keep going. We're getting closer to 3,000 right now. The question is, do I want to go... Ooh, crap. Do I want to go for plantation? Or do I want to get better upgrade for some of my towers? I'm thinking with the Moab coming up. Maybe one of these, one of those. We'll get deadly precision. And these ballistic missiles are totally gonna increase our effectiveness. And get some lead popping power so we don't have to rely on. Uh, well, I'm more than one because, as you know, micromanagement, not so hard. Alright, yeah, they present, I guess. I guess you could be sharpshooter, and time to micromanage. be too much of a threat. Yeah, that was pretty easy, but hey, you can never be too careful, especially in balloons. One way to take out your whole defense. Especially once he gets around to find these. How's my plantation? I figure I could take some extra money. Since we're not really having too much trouble with the days now, it's a good investment. It seems to pay itself off pretty fast, too. We can get ourselves a main Moab. And maybe even a first strike capability for Lucky. 
not sure about shattering shells. But maybe. I'll prioritize the first two upgrades I mentioned first. better defense once you get towards the end. Emergency purposes. But I still do think we need a little bit more at the beginning. I mean, two towers aren't coming at, especially tier threes. <sighs> that was a stressful round. I think before I go any further, might go for a... How about a Megalodon, actually? So let's get three little guys down. Chain because you're military. Life. Oh, check it out. That was nice. Ability. I'll be able to use that You can take out a ZOMG, so I'm sure it'll be able to take that to my lab issues. We can also go with this classic Moab Power. Is not achievement. Maybe we can go for some favorite tricks. I usually prefer hot shot merchantmen, but beggars can't be choosers. Can they? Hot shots are not a force to be reckoned with, especially when there's three ships. This is gonna be it, I guess. That was easy. We get five gifts and 412 monkey money. Now time to unlock our aforementioned expert map. But what do we go for? I'm thinking... 
How about something nice? We could just go for Infernal, I guess. And we'll do medium on this too. 500 monkey money. That's a pretty good amount. How does the track on this work, first of all? Alright, so it's almost like a figure eight. Mm, none of these have a lot of range. Maybe something like this could work? If I give this guy one range. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna work on the earlier rounds. But later could be bad. Things could get icky real fast. I had to get support up in here because that was a close round last round. Instas are nice, so I'll just place a few. Can't go wrong, I suppose. Well, for the most part, they all have their paths figured out. I could even turn it onto auto for now if I wanted to. <sighs> I think the ace doing a literal figure eight around the circle could be pretty cool. Just gets on your path. It's still pretty good considering it is still an overall somewhat circular shape. Yeah, check that out. That's gonna be able to pop a lot more hearts. It's already getting good pops. See, there's a few good ones out there. There was Mugenix. There's the Borderlands movie. Suicide Squad. Etc. But hey, I'm sure more releases are going to be made throughout the year. I mean, 
there was a ton of games that we didn't even know were coming out this year until like five days before they came out. But yeah, this year was a banger for video games. I mean, we got Fortnite OG, one of the best seasons ever. For me, at least. A few other bangers, too, I mean. Spider-Man 2, Mario Bros. Wonder, Baldur's Gate 3, Alan Wake 2, there were so many contenders. Game Gear was a bit packed this year. And let's be honest, the Game Awards were probably staged. I mean, clearly Blue's TV section of one game of the year. No, not really. That was a joke. Turning off auto start. I'm gonna get a lot of preparation to beat the Moab. This is map is harder than I thought. I'm gonna be spinning on this side, so I can go to this side. Let's go! There's gonna be a lot of prank here, but there is also a couple Moab. Nice! Thank you, sir. There's totally more we could be doing here. Advanced intel could be great. It's gonna be able to target both sides. So it'll basically be a brand new sniper monkey. For the most part. So let's try to get some merchantmen up. You really can only fit one, that sucks. Maybe I can use one of my pools, but it almost feels like a waste to me. Doesn't even fit on there. There has to be a way to let them fit together. But I guess not. We'll only have one more chance. Can't let it get through down. Strategies don't always work the same on each map. I mean, Ravine was impossible on chimps for a while. Did they added that sword, you physically could not beat it. So, any strategy there will not work. Starting to make a lot more money, I guess Spectre is closer than we thought.
they don't really think of much more ways to get cash, unless we made one of our guys an elite sniper. How about him? Let's slow cool down. Then we can get a tech bar. already. So if you're wondering what to expect in this channel since this is uh, well a pretty new kind of video. First video of actually have my any kind of voice in or context to what's happening to be honest. Yeah. The truth is this channel is gonna be all six games. Any indie games but as you can tell. I kind of played it too. I've always been a fan of games. I do play a variety. I usually get hooked to them for a little bit and then never play them again. So if you see a tra series on this channel starting to get pretty popular, then it suddenly stops. Uh, you might not see that series again for a while. That was the expert map finished. That means that's the end of the video for now, and goodbye.